always advantage to try and take the shuttle in there around the head when we are near the back. You don't always have to do the backhand because we cannot do so good strokes when playing in the backhand as we assume we can do when doing in the forehand instead. So what we have to do is try to get the around the head and that is something like getting under the shuttle and hitting like this. This looks way more dangerous than if you opponent is like this. So we need to know how can we master this movement, how do we go to that corner to perform around the headshots. And there is some tips I want to show you in this video. And the first tip to get to that corner is start with having the feeling of pushing your, if you're right handed like me, push your left hand, begin to move to that corner and push your left hand in the opposite direction. So I'll begin to move and I'll push with my left hand like this. So this will be very natural. And then we actually made a very far way down here. Then I can take one chiche, jump up, hit, and move forward afterwards. So the first thing I'll do, that is overdo this movement and go and perform a shot at the around the head. Also take them more step by step and what's happening with the foot like directional split step then we're skipping on our left like that and then we're here one two three jump up scissor jump move forward more I'll focus on doing the correct thing with my feet instead of doing this move all we can try and do this just push our left hand to the other side and begin to move in that direction So the movement will be like here, here, and there we go forward. If we take a look at some of the uh, women singles on the world class, they are very good at just pushing with the left hand the other way, getting down, up, hit, and come forward back in towards the court. If we be begin to think all this the other way, we are not getting ready with our racket. That's why this sometimes happens hit because we begin to think how do we move to that way we need to make it more simple and more easy to understand and that's why I just say take your left hand throw it to the other side and begin to move towards the corner like this it will be much easier to try and put into your game That's the thing. So next time there is an opponent lifting to that corner, try and overdo this movement and you'll feel yourself in a better position in the rear backing corner. We'll try to show it with different examples. Um, so, yeah. So there's different ways of doing it. The last two was just for fun, but maybe you get the point that the first one overdoing this movement might help you. The other one, focusing on the footwork, 
is also a way of doing it. So if you're struggling with either one, then try the other. Maybe that will help you.